Do you want to be a rock star, or maybe you'd rather be on cocaine, the legal alternative, that is? These popular high-energy drinks are all the rage for people 15 to 25 years old, but could what's behind these controversial names be harmful to your health? One thing is that you will not find the amount of caffeine that's in this, so you don't have any idea how much caffeine you're getting. Isaac Bowen is a Rhinelander High School student and self-proclaimed caffeine addict. He's also part of the 31 percent of U.S. teens who say they consume energy drinks. It's partly the caffeine rush, partly the public image thing because right now energy drinks are fairly socially acceptable. Doctors say they aren't sure of all the long-term effects of the drinks, but they do know you can become addicted. Several of the kids have had elevated blood pressure, elevated heart rate. Rhinelander school nurse Carrie Schmidt says she's had several students come in sick from the high mix of caffeine and sugar in some of these drinks. I've seen a few kids that came to me very agitated, very nervous because of the effects of the caffeine. If I came in today to get my blood pressure checked, it would most likely be normal. But if I came in after chugging, say, three cans of a high energy drink, it could be substantially higher. Not only that, my heart may feel like it's about to jump out of my chest, or I could even be feeling nauseous. And what else should we be watching out for in something like this? The other thing you'll notice is there are some vitamins added to it which may seem like, oh, this is a healthy food because it has vitamins added. However, you know, getting too many vitamins can actually be bad for your health. According to health experts, if you mix these drinks with alcohol, which a lot of young adults do, think Red Bull and vodka, it could lead to serious dehydration. Redux Beverages, creator of the drink cocaine, says teens and young adults are their target market, even grabbing their attention on popular sites like MySpace tried to do is to create a brand and a product that was cool and that the teenagers would would be attracted to because of the edgy name, the controversy. Redux Beverages says even though their drink cocaine has almost 1,200 milligrams of caffeine per ounce, almost four times the recommended daily amount, they still stand by their product, the name and even its health content. We don't feel that our caffeine level is, is unsafe or is harmful, uh, at least not any more harmful than any other uh, highly caffeinated product on the market. Whether you drink them for the taste or for the jolt of energy, it's like the law of gravity. What goes up must come down, and in this case, the buzz from an energy drink can leave you feeling very down.